Hello, I'm back again with another episode of the Retro Database um, Coventry City Save 2007-2008 database. Um, thank you for everyone's support in during my downtime. I've already explained it in the social video, but I'll just give you a quick update on my what's been going on um, with me in case you don't watch that. Basically, I just got burnt out from doing content and playing playing Football Manager, which is I've never got burnt out playing Football Manager. I I I used to I can play ten hours a day and never get bored. But yeah, I, so I took a week off from playing Football Manager. Gradually, just started doing a save with Bruno Magpies and Gibraltar national team that I'm still doing now. Um, ten seasons in or something like that, and really enjoying it and the progress I'm making with Bruno. And also the Gibraltar national team as well. Um, so it got me that feeling again of wanting to do content again. So I'm carrying on with the social save because I feel like I've got unfinished business with that. And I'm quite, I was, I'm enjoying the idea of doing the Coventry save because of the old football players in the database um, that I've been signing. So yeah, so I'm back Mon uh, Fridays for the Coventry series and wednesdays for the social series but yeah i like i said my mental, my mental health wasn't very good as well so i just needed a bit of a break and i'm back and recharged and ready to go um i have as of today i've managed to find a coventry city home shirt it's from the 2021 2022 i would have loved to have found one from the 2007 2008 in my size um to go with the database but unfortunately at this current time ebay don't have anything like that so just have to make do with this one but yeah so hopefully um we can find one eventually but yeah i'll leave it as that for the intro because it's gone on a bit longer than i would like and then when we come back in a second i'll have the first game of the episode with coventry c Right, so let's get a, a grip of what's been going on because I haven't played this for a few weeks, as you can tell, as you know. Um, so we're currently seventh. I think at one point we were like third, weren't we? And then we just the last episode from what I remember, we just complete. Look at this: one, two, three, four, five, five losses in a row. There, we have completely um, lost the plot here. So I'm going to have a. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to try that one and we'll see how we get on with that one go for one striker instead of two maybe that'll work in our favor actually no because i want two strikers so we'll just stick to that one there we go right so we are playing leicester let's see how we go on hopefully we can turn this mess around i just worry that we won't be able to do that we're now oh we are six somehow we haven't done much but we've somehow gone from seven to six because i think norwich are losing so we're back in the playoffs not by anything we've done um we're in the, the black o'hare is playing for leicester instead of us good goal by leon best lovely little header great way to start the episode one nil hopefully our luck will change now Throwing to us, best. I think it was me tinkering around with the strikers that probably caused us to start losing when I had, when I started putting Cole and Sheringham up front for games. They're better off as impact subs. But yeah, good start. 1 0 to us. Leicester City will probably score in a minute though, by the looks of it. They just, yeah, oh no, that, that should have been a goal. We were very lucky there. Right, 1-0 still. Good save. Cairo. Or Cairo. I think it's Cairo, in it? Pronounced Cairo. Cairo. Passes it across to Borodale. To Pew. Pew with a beautiful ball. Ah, good save for the goalie. Oh, still 1-0. We're still doing well. Da, 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 da. Misford's not playing particularly well, though, so we might take him off later. He carries on. 
he's not in good form at the moment. Um, I just had a quick look after the intro for a 2007-2008 Coventry shirt. They're not they're not going cheap, so we're not going to be buying a lot of them. Unless I somehow find one out of nowhere, but yeah. I'll um what I'll probably do is when I've got a spare bit of money that I don't need to worry about, I'll probably just go sod it. Get the 2007-2008 Coventry City shirt. Coventry City shirt, or I might just get the, the, the new home one instead. Because I don't think I'll be able to find the 2007-2008 one in my size. So um, that's made life easier with that red card. But yeah, so then what I'll do is I will also get a Socho home shirt from the official website. Right, Shane comes on for Missford. See what the old man can do. He's not happy by that comment because he's just looking a bit sad here. See if we can make him happy. Oh, he's happy now, so hopefully that'll work in our favour. Quinn needs to come on. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Hughes. He'll have to do. Right, Pew. Drives it forward, good shot, hits the goalkeeper, goes out for a corner. Definitely would have been some goal. Uh, Cairo leads to nothing. Right, Danny Pugh is tired. We can't take any more subs. I forgot we only got three substitutes, don't we? Okay, that's fine. Right. So we're 1 0 up. We've got, we've got an extra man. Oh, that would have been one hell of a goal then if he chipped that in. Let's hope we can just keep this lead. Get back into the playoffs. Get back on track. Right. Cairo. With the corner. Let's see what he does. Earlier, by the way, I said O'Hare's playing for um, common, uh, for, Le for Leicester City on this database. I got it completely wrong. It's Jamie O'Hara. So it's not Callum O'Hare. Right, Pew. Cross the Borrowdale. Let's see if we can get one more goal. Finish this game completely off. Great header there by Cairo. Fifth goal of the season for him. He's a good little player, Cairo. But there you go. That's it. That's done. We're 10 points behind second place Watford. So we've got a hell of a gap now to try and get there. But if we can keep in the playoffs, you never know. I wasn't expecting us to even get in the playoffs, so... I was expecting it to be like it was last time I played this on on FM 2008 when I literally just stayed up every season with Coventry. So, yeah, we're doing well. We need Misford to get back on track, though. We are playing Watford in one game time after Crystal Palace. Oh, God, there's three really hard games coming now. Crystal Palace, Watford, and then Wolves. Where are Wolves doing? Who have they got? Oh, I love the, I love the old school kits they've got here. So they got, who's their best, most expensive player? Matt Murray's highest value player, Freddie Eastwood. So they haven't really got anybody other than, you know, Michael Kitely was all right back in the day. I think we can take them. I think we can beat them. Got Crystal Palace, though. They won't be an easy team to beat. Right. Coming up in a second. It's all right, I just noticed how much dust's on my screen on my laptop. So I'll give that a bit of a clean later. Right. Let's see how we get on here. We've got the usual strike partnership of Misford and Best. J-Tab's back as well. Kyra on the right, Tab on the left. Best and Misford up front is probably our best forward. For, uh, four forward players. No highlights so far after 15 minutes. Where's Crystal Palace? They're 16 for this season at the moment. Have they got any standout players? I'll have a look in a sec. See what happens with this highlight first. Go straight back to a goalkeeper, which is never good. The zoo. Tab. Across the McNamini. So they got Hudson, Flinders, 
What else they got? Watson. I don't think I don't think that's Ben Watson. It might be somebody else. They got Morrison. Tab across to Misford. Oh, beautiful finish. That's what we want to see. Uh, disallowed though. It's a good finish though. All right, let's have a quick look at the Crystal Palace team for you uh, fans of retro football. Ben Watson. Uh, so for like Wigan player, I think he's like Dougie Friedman. Morrison, so that's a good little strike partnership they have. So I think that's it, really. Jose Fonte is a decent defender, but they got anybody on the bench. Mark Kennedy's all right. Paul Dickov, back in his day, was pretty good. Jamie Scowcroft, Lewis Graben, but nobody really. Right, tab with the corner. Passes it to Cairo, across to Misford, back to Borodell. Best finishes it, good. This one better not get disallowed. Best with his 12th goal of the season, 1-0 to us. Good finish. Yeah, we're now 8 points behind Watford. So if we if we win this game, it's a big if first. But if we win this game, Watford lose their game. And then we beat Watford, I think we'll be like five points behind them at that point then. So, uh, but there you go, Crystal Palace have equalised, so it doesn't necessarily mean we're going to win this game. McNamini is knackered, he needs to come off in before half time. Have we got anybody? Yes, we have Fraser Richardson, there you go. Goal kick to Crystal Palace, let's hope... They mess up here. Oh, they do. Oh. Bit of a rubbish angle for the goal, but, you know. Good, good, good. 2-1. Leon Best is knackered, though, so he'll have to come off in a minute. Unfortunately, I'll have to begrudge him his hat-trick. Uh, let's try and demand a bit more from Cairo first. No, he's knackered, he needs to come off. So, Cairo's coming off. Um, I think we'll just have to put Sheringham on. And then Andy Cole, Andrew Cole, sorry, come on for him. And we'll have to do some tinkering with the tactic once they come on. Tab. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. 3-1, absolutely turn this around. So we just we just need to put sharing them here, and we are good to go. Borrowdale needs to come off. Put Q on. Right, I think that's all our subs used. Oh no, we can make more subs. Well, I'm confused. I thought we could only have three subs in this database. But okay, I'm not going to argue. Ah, that's annoying. Dougie Friedman, horrific goal scorer, 15th goal of the season for him. In fact, I'm going to add him to my shortlist. I don't think he'll come to us. How old is he? I don't know what happened there. 34, but he's still getting the goals in at 34 years old. I'll tell you what, though, a strike partnership with Dougie Friedman and Duncan Ferguson back in the day would have caused havoc for opposition defences with them two brutes up front. Right, we definitely used up all our subs now, so we can have one, two, three, four. We can have four substitutions in the championship. Crystal Palace have got a free kick. <sighs> Over. I want us to get another goal here. Calm my nerves down a bit. Right, Misford, you need a bit of a telling off. Good interception there by Tab. Passes it to Quinn. Quinn loses the ball, unfortunately. Good defensive play there by Davenport. I don't know who that was to, but okay. Then again, I would be worried if we were playing like really good football with Coventry City. Ah, oh, free, free. <sighs> would I take a draw? Yeah, probably. If you said to me drawing against Crystal Palace is an option, I would have gone, okay, we'll just go with that then. Oh no, they're going to score another here. 
Oh no. Right. We need to give these lot a telling off. What's going on, lads? Great. There we go. Right, tell them I'm furious with them at the moment. Come on, let's get this equaliser. Ah, oh, Quinn, come on. Right, they've got the ball. Goal kick. Headed out nicely by Davenport. Sheringham, beautiful ball. He knows how to bloody pass. Go on, Tal. Yes, get in. 4-4. What a game for the neutrals here. We're showing Crystal Palace. We are not a uh, a team that you think you can walk over. Go on, Tal. Ah. Could have done with Dion Dublin in there, then. Right, Flinders throws it across. That's a hell of a throw by the goalkeeper to Hughes. Good, good defensive play there. Colt gives it to Richardson. Across to Davenport. Davenport all the way back to the goalie. Gazoo. Who's he going to pass it to? Gives it to Tab. Tab now gets past the player. Gives it to Quinn now. Quinn back to... Oh my God, this is boring. Come on, let's get it forward. Quinn. Good ball. Cole, that's a beautiful ball. Go on, miss it. Yes, get in. Go on. 5-4. Oh, disallowed. Come on. This has been one hell of an entertaining game, this has. I think it's going to end 4-4, four, four, though. But, you know, like I said, we didn't lose. That's important. We're still in the playoffs. That's important. But, yeah, like I said, one hell of a game for you lot to be watching there. Let me just check I am recording. I am. Last time I had a really entertaining game was with Socho and... I stupidly forgot to re press record or I didn't press record properly. <laughs> it was a hell it was a hell of an entertaining game as well. Right, so we're now playing Watford next game. So I'll be back in a second with the Watford game. Right, I'm back a little bit early because we've had some news. So last episode we did have a takeover offer on board. And um yeah, so the so we've had we've got a new we've got a new owner and by the looks of it he's loaded so here we go. Let me read it out. Things may never be the same again at the Rico Stadium after Australian investor Seth Robertson successfully uh, completed a takeover of the Coco the Championship Club. According to ITV Sport, Robertson has promised he will stop at nothing to ensure Coventry City become one of the greatest forces in domestic and continental football. Robertson also, um, has already indicated that the first priority will be to get the club back on sound financial footing. And then he's put, I want to thank you for your patience during this undoubtedly been a stressful time for everyone on the club. Money has been invested in developing youth facilities, which is great to hear. And a further 30 million has been pumped into the club coffers. So that's really good. So these are the new expectations. Work with the wage budget, grow the club's reputation, maximum one year contracts for players are over the age of 34 and two years for 32. Finishing mid-table in the championship, which is what we're doing already. Be competitive in the FA Cup, which we've passed. Growing the reputa club's reputation, which hopefully we can do. And then record a... Oh, no, is this next season? Oh, no, that's next season. But, yeah, they basically eventually want us to get win promotion to the Premiership, which I think we'll be able to do. Um, we can. So, I'm pleased to announce a new transfer budget has been... There. New budget as a result of takeover. The amount of money... Available for transfers will be now 2.1 million. Woohoo! Right, let's see if there's anything else before we have a look at the finances. Just do this first. Uh, we'll add him. Again, obviously in this save, I'm not that bothered about having money because I'm not going to be going all out buying these wonder kids. It's tempting as it is. Um, Scott Sinclair. There we go. Still playing football, Scott Sinclair, playing for Bristol Rovers. I know this because the guy I go and talk the guy I talk to when I go and see Cabri Athletic, he's a um he is a Bristol Rovers fan. And Scott Sinclair scored the other day actually as well. The other week, a couple of weeks ago. Bloody hell, we are counting the money now, aren't we? Thirty one million for that. We are projected to get ninety three million. We are going to have a massive transfer budget, but we're not going to use it. Um, let's have a look at the 
facilities. So obviously we're going to improve the youth facilities. I want to try and just bring through youth players and just buy old players to be mentors for him. But let's see if we can encourage him to increase. Let's just chuck this bit in there. And then we'll chuck some in the scouting as well. Actually, we'll go world. There we go. Right, so that's made it a little bit easier. Um, we'll just get rid of all these for now. Um, I think that's it, really. We'll play the next game. But that's a turnaround for... At least we haven't got to worry about the finances of the club for now. Um, but it's kind of, in a way, kind of ruined the save because I want us to be like underdogs who struggle every season. Now it's just made our life a lot easier. So I'm, I'm still going to put things in place to make sure we don't just go crazy and buy loads of talented, great players and just ruin the save. Let me know in the comment section if that's what you want me to do. I will go with the majority vote. I'd rather just struggle and buy old players and do it that way, but we'll see. Anyway, right. So we're now at Watford. Let's see how we get on. We're now not in the playoffs because I think Norwich had a game ahead of us. Or well, they might be winning now. They might be playing now, winning already after six minutes. So you never know. Best with the ball. Oh, nearly treacled it in. Cairo with the corner. See what he can do. Beautiful cross. Tab picks up the ball now. Tries and gets it on his right foot. Uh, we lose the ball. Watford on the counter-attack here. They can be quite dangerous here by the looks of it. They've got Marlon King, a pretty decent striker back in his day. Luckily, we defend it well. But yeah. Nil-nil at the moment. Just try and encourage the players a bit. Hopefully that will help. Ah. Free kick inside the box to Watford. This could be quite considered. Ah, no, we don't need to worry. Do Watford have any decent players in this team? Let's have a look at the Watford team. Right, so they got Mark Poom. Obviously a great goalkeeper back in his day. Danny Shooter was a decent central defender. Mullin, Mahan, pretty decent midfielders. Marlon King, Tommy Smith was all right. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, really. Don't really have much on the subs bench that I can see. Kind of a bit dis. I'm kind of a bit sad now that we've been taken over by a bloody tycoon type of thing. The whole motivation of the save was to basically stay up every season and literally sell my best players, and just now it's kind of just killed the save in a way. But oh well. Maybe I'll just turn it into let's buy all the Wonder Kids save for the old database. We'll see. Let me, like I said, let me know in the comments section. Cairo with the corner. Floats it up. Cairo. Oof. Osborne across to Davenport. To the right of McNamini. McNamini now floats in the cross. Headed out there, unfortunately. I think they just they def they got Danny Shitu. He's, he's he was a really strong, powerful central defender back in his day, from what I remember. And they've scored. Never heard of him. Bruno Meganil. One nil. Still time to get an equaliser. Who needs to come off? Misfit needs to come off. Who should we put on? Ah, we put on good old Dion Dublin. Cairo can come off. Uh, we'll put Sharon Gum. Who else needs to come off? Right, okay. Osborne could come off as well. And then what we need to do is uh, we need to put. Why is there. Dion Dublin only one star in as a striker. Move across. There we go. What position does he best play in? Ah, target forward. Okay. Target forward. 
support and then pressing forward attack there we go right this is where we make a difference everybody good old Dion Dublin uh, best is gonna have to come on so after doing all that I'm gonna have to take him off anyway Andrew Cole there you go all right we can't take any more players off so just gotta hope for the best now um, Andy Cole is a poacher best Right, so that makes more sense with the target forward and the poacher. So hopefully we'll get a goal here in a minute. Get a late equaliser or else we're out the playoffs. Thing is, because I've lost, the thing is if I don't get into playoffs, um, I don't think I'll get sacked, but it's not going to help. Right, criticised. Andy Cole's performance. It never works. It's ne they never agree. They always kick off. Right, so we've got Wolves next. So I'll be back in a minute and we'll see how we get on against them. Right, so we're now playing Wolves. Um, I've got an idea in my head. So basically, you know when I said, oh, I'm a bit sad now that this save's going to be a lot easier. What I could do is, you know some of these Wonder Kids that never worked out in real life, like, um, I can't think of any top of me. But you know what I mean, the players that everybody said was going to be the next big thing and they didn't work out. There's probably many examples, but for some reason my mind's gone blank. Um, you know, like like Federico Machida and all that, like when he scored that goal against Villa, I think it was, he was the next big thing and then nothing worked out. For so maybe I can look at bringing them players in um, and then doing like an alternative universe where let's see what they could have done given the chance to carry on with their progress. So, yeah, we could look into that instead. I'll still buy the old players as well, because I love nostalgia. Um, but, yeah, that, that will only work for a couple of seasons, because like people like Sharon and Cole, the real characters of football, they're going to be retired. I'm not too bothered about signing other players when they get old, because they don't, they don't really, they're not really characters for me at that point. They're just players like I'm 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 a kid that was born in the 80s so when I was really into my football was in the 90s so it depends on how old you are like some 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 of you might think you know some of the superstars of today you'll be nostalgic about when you're my age when you, you know you, these kids today oh good free kick great header there by Osborne one nil to us but yeah I think I might do that like an alternative I mean, we signed Jamie Vardy, don't get me wrong. Um, but that was only because he literally was playing non-league. He might not work out for us. But at least we've signed him for now. 1-0 to us against the Wolves. Davenport. Gives it to the zoo. I think that's the only way. Me doing that is the only way it's going to keep me interested in the save. Um, Cairo. Oh, get in. What a header. Either that or I just don't sign anybody um, under the age of like 25 or whatever and just keep buying older players and then just bringing young players through. Or just do it in a youth only. But I don't really want to do youth only because I like signing the old players like Sheringham and Delap and Cole and people like that. So, but yeah, 2-0 up for half time. Good position for us to be in. We are still one point behind Norwich. Are Norwich playing today? They are drawing, so hopefully Plymouth can do us a favour here and win. We've still got our work cut out though. Wolves are not an easy team. But yeah, let's hope. Oh there you go. I I wished it and it happened. That's what happened that's what that's what it is. You've got to wish for something really, really badly and then it will happen. So I'm gonna to wish to win the lottery in a minute, really, really badly, and I'll win. That's how it works, everybody. Right. Plymouth are winning 2-1. That means we've leapfrogged past Norwich in the and now we're six, I think. Good header out. But they can always get an equaliser. So we can't really assume that's gonna happen. Oh, 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 they're nervous. They're nervous. McNamini across to the zoo. Quinn with a beautiful forward ball to uh, Q. Oh, look at that. 
Missford with his 18th goal of the season get in. Right, let's take best off. And then we'll put on Sheringham. And give Sheringham a bit of a run out, bless him. See if his tired old legs can keep going. Misford. Oh, no. Danny Simpson for Wolves now. Not very good there at all. 3-0 up. Yep, they're still losing as well. Osborne can come off. Pat McNamini can come off as well. Where is Richardson? He is not on the bench. Rory to left one to do. Huh? What have I done here? Cancel. Yeah. Rory to left. There we go. Um, right, okay. Wolves taking their time with the free kick. Good goal by Michael Doyle. Former or future Coventry City player. I can't remember. Oh, look. Was he? I think he was with us. Yeah, we sold him for like a pittance. Still angry about that one. But yeah, Plymouth still winning 2-1. We're winning 3-1. If they get another goal, I'm going to be quite nervous. Hopefully we can get one. Oh, no. Form, uh, future or former Coventry, I think it's future Coventry seat player at that point. Fred East with 3-2. Right, berate the players a bit now. Get them back on track. Uh, and then take you off. Put you on. Giddens hasn't played for a while. Oh, we can take another one off, so... Um, we'll put on, I want to kind of take off the zoo, to be honest. Got Dion Dublin in there. Right, triple substitution. Let's hope that helps us keep the lead. Goal kick to us. Not long left in the game. Let's see if we can keep this. Oh, no. Oh, what the hell was that? He flipping... We really didn't need to do that. <sighs> That's so annoying to go from 3-1 up to flipping 3-3. Especially when Norwich lost as well. So frustrating. Let me just close something. There we go. Shots are good. In. All right. Um... Right, seven days. So we've got one more game left in this episode. So I'll we'll just I'll forward to that one and we'll play Hall as the last game of the episode. Back in a sec. Right, we're back for the last game of the episode. Usual lineup by the looks of it. Delapse in midfield though. I think that's pretty much the same. Let's end the episode on a high note. I don't let's just have a quick look at Hall. Hall probably don't really have anybody worth talking about. Maybe Michael Turner who Goes on to play for... No, that's Ben Turner, I'm thinking of. Um, yeah, JJ Okocha probably is their best player. Nick Barnby, maybe. But yeah, like I said, this was a team that was... Dean Windows. Uh, Michael Bridges is in there as well. Michael Bridges used to be a really good player back in the day. It's just a shame his career didn't go as well as it did. I think I might look at bringing him in, even though we don't really need any more strikers but he'll definitely work out well for next season because I, I think Sheringham will probably end up retiring anyway but he's got 15 goals in 15 games and 8 assists for the reserves so he's definitely capable of getting a few goals and it fits the transfer policy that we have here anyway right 1-0 no I thought it was 1-0 then it was going to be a good one Davenport with the ball across the Borrowdale. Tab. The zoo. Back to Tab. Tab loses the ball but gets it back. Borrowdale. To Tab. We're linking up nicely between them two. That was a terrible. Quint. 
<sighs> Good header out there. Right, we've got the ball back now. Quinn gives it to Tam. Quinn does know how to pass, I think. Beautiful ball. I think he's offside. I'm pretty sure he's offside. Yeah. Shame. I'm glad in a way they don't have VAR in this database, but also it's a bit annoying. But he was, I think VAR would have ruled that out anyway. Oh, good shot there. Luckily, we luckily didn't concede that. Right, let's put the league table back up on here. Yeah, so we're three points behind Norwich now, so we've got a bit. We're going to struggle to probably. We need luck on our side. I think we need to be. We need to be playing them at some point in the rest of the season, and then try and beat them. Hopefully. Cairo for Coventry. Floats up the corner. Misfit. Good finish. That was a beautiful finish. 19 goals season for Misford. One nil. Um, they're not praising them just yet. The lap. Oh, beautiful header there by Best. Two nil. Now we can praise them. Need to get this back on Coventry. Right, Quinn. Oh, what a free kick that was. The goalie just, I think the goalie broke his hand trying to save that. Borrowed out with the corner. Let's get another goal before half time. Fortunately, the goalkeeper grabs it. Right, 2 0. I think Norwich are still winning. We'll have a look at later scores in a minute. Quinn with the ball. He's determined to score today, isn't he, Quinn? Oh, I'll have a look after this one now. Borodow drives it forward on the left side, loses the ball. That's lack of concentration, if I've ever seen it. Uh, focus. Yeah, that's your fault, that is, borrowed out. Luckily, it got ruled out. Right, let's take some players off. Cairo can come off. Actually, how long have we got now? We got we do it quite a bit longer first. We'll probably pick up some tired players. Uh, latest scores, Norwich 0-0 against Southampton. Southampton are a good team, so they might do us a favour Right, Quinn needs to come off first. We've got three bloody left backs on the subs bench. We've got no. Oh, Fortin will have to do. Tab can come off. We'll put Pew on. Right, let's just see how we get on. McNamini. Have we got any right backs? We haven't, so we'll just put Giddens in there. Cairo, we can't take you off. Right, so we've used up all our subs. We've just got to hope that Paul City don't get back in this game. They've already had one goal disallowed. We can't afford to give them any more chances in here. Let's get another goal. Let's kill this game off. Good tackle. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Former... Coventry player, great. Demand a bit more. Right, good, good interception there. But we give it straight back to them. Oh, we managed to get. It. Go on, Misford. Misford, come on. Oh, that'd have been game over if he got that in. Corner to us. Cairo takes the corner. See what he can do with this set piece. Taking his sweet time. Hurry up. There we go. That's straight in the goalkeeper's hands. What a waste. Davenport. Costing up a lot of this. Oh, go on, Cairo. You've got all this space now. Finish it off. Oh, come on, mate. You should have scored that. <sighs> you watch the equalise now. Norwich still drawing. Oh, 
Well, let's just let's just win this game. Come on, let's get another goal. Yes, go on. Oh, what are you doing, Pew? That was a terrible pass. I don't know if it was a pass or a shot. I don't know. Right, at least we won. Oh, we're back in the playoffs. So did Norwich. They lost. They conceded in the last minute. Thank you, Southampton. So we end the episode nicely there. Um, with us still in the playoffs. Bit of a topsy-turvy episode. Full of drama. Full of entertainment for you lot. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll be back next week on friday with another commentary city episode please let me know in the comment section if you've watched this what you think what you would like me to do moving forward with the save because of the, the takeover and i'll see you next week enjoy the enjoy your weekend all the best bye